Hey. How was your tour? It was great. I was at a business seminar in Karachi. Muhammad Ali Habba was there. I talked to him for a few minutes. I also dropped in on a friend for dinner. We didn't cook anything. Instead, we walked to a Zahid Nahari near his house. We use the past simple to talk about completed action and events in the past. It is the most commonly used past tense in English. Kamal washed his car on Sunday. The verb ends in ed. Finished point in the past. Today. Last week. I cleaned. He cleaned his room three times last week. Yesterday. I studied. I studied economics last night. Last night. I called. I called her on the cell phone. Last night, I watched a documentary about Amazon. Ina cleaned her house last weekend. Last Friday, I played chess with friends. Hafiz usually drives to work, but yesterday he walked instead. We watched a cricket match yesterday. Last year we studied about Munjodero. Then in the winter we visited Larkana and saw Munjodero. It was interesting. The past simple, spelling rules. The past simple of all regular verbs end in ed but for some verbs, there are some spelling changes, too. Watch. Watched. For many regular verbs, ed is added. Live. Last letter is e. Lived. Just a d is added. Carry. Carry. Verb ending in a consonant and a y. Carried, carried. The Y is removed and IED is added instead. Stop. Stop. A stressed final syllable ending consonant vowel consonant. Stopped. Stopped. The last consonant is doubled and DD is added. Fit. Fitted. 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 Irregular verbs. Some verbs do not take ed to form the simple past. There are no specific rules about how to form irregular verbs in the past simple. Rizwan came into the room, took off his coat, and sat down. Came is the past simple, or second form, of come. Took is the past simple, or second form, of take. Sat is the past simple, or second form, of sit. Shaheen drove to the hospital. He went to cinema. He bought two bars of chocolate and gave one to his friend. You did well in the test. I wrote an email to my supervisor. We ate pizzas last night. Fifteen years ago, studies concluded that players of video games were very intelligent and motivated people. They got good results at school and at work. In those days, video games were quite simple. Say what about the more complex games of today? Many children start to play video games at seven. For most of them is not a problem is not a problem but some of them become addicts. A recent study of children aged 13 and 14 found that almost a third played video games daily. 7% spent at least 30 hours playing every week. Addiction to games can lead to other problems such as stealing money to buy new games, failing to do homework, or not going to school. In another study, Scientists at Japan's Tohoku University looked at the brain activity of hundreds of students as they played a Nintendo game. They compared this with the brain activity of other students doing math. The results were surprising. The computer game only stimulated those parts of the brain related to vision and movement, but not parts of the brain which are important for behavior, memory, and learning. The results were surprising. The computer game only stimulated those parts of the brain related to vision and movement, but not parts of the brain which are important for behavior, memory. Isaac Newton was born on December 25, 1642 in England. He was born in the same year that Galileo died. Newton is probably the most important scientist in history. His work on mathematics and physics provided a basis for modern science and his ideas changed the world. Newton published his work in two books, Optics and Principia. These contain his in his laws of motion and gravity. He used these laws to predict the movements of the stars, and the planets around the sun. He also designed and built the world's first reflect telescope. Newton studied at Trinity College, Cambridge, 
from 1661 to 1696. In this period he produced most of his important work. Then, in 1696, he moved to London, where he lived until his death on March 20, 1726.